If you are anything like me and believe that the rain this week was good enough to wash the mud off the truck, then you have a home here. Welcome to The Go Show. And if you're following along on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Go Show with Mike Russell, uh, you could have seen that uh, I, I was holding up notes. I actually prepare for this show, believe it or not. I, I really do. I, I have notes and everything. Good grief. Hey, thanks for being here. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Go Show with Mike Russell. And you can find us on Instagram at The Go Show with Mike Russell and the YouTube page. You can see phase two of the, I'm sorry, level two of the Danny Page workout. You can check that out in, I'm feeling it. Let me tell you. Uh, you can find us at Go Outdoors with Mike Russell on the YouTubes. And, and yeah, let me tell you, I had to speed it up for Instagram. I actually did the entire video that he, uh, he and Justin Cross did for me. I did it in one minute, less than a minute. It was ludicrous speed. And no one even fired off on my ludicrous speed comment. Do you all not know where that's from? Ludicrous speed. Yeah. Look it up, and then you can chime in on chime in on Facebook and let me know if you know where ludicrous speed comes from. Facebook.com forward slash The Go Show with Mike Russell. Let me know, okay? Or on the YouTube channel, get over there, go outdoors with Mike Russell, like the page, follow the page, and then we'll keep getting you some fun videos up there, even videos, exercise videos with Danny Page and ludicrous speed. Last weekend, I got to uh, play with my pals from the Mule Deer organization. We had Terry in here a couple of weeks ago to talk about the banquet. And the banquet was phenomenal because they had a great MC. Ha! <laughs> I kid. It was me. Keep the bar set super low, okay? <laughs> and we, we had a lot of fun out there. And let me tell you something. For the second year, this was the second year event. And this is just to go to show you how wheels off, sold out this community is for conservation in this great state. 300 people at a banquet. 300 people paid to be there. The McMillan team was there. There was, a, I think the uh, APS team was there. There was a contingent from just your neighbors like people around in our community that were just there. It wasn't all sponsored tables. It wasn't all corporate type of deals. And let me tell you something, they gave away some serious, serious raffle prizes. Oh my gosh. They had blitz raffles, they had all this stuff, they had ginormous safes. It was a lot of fun, we had a great time. All of that money goes to conservation efforts right here in Arizona. And I'm gonna get to that in just a sec. But I want to get to what I posted online. I posted on our, our social media accounts. A video of my man Homer, the auctioneer. Guy is insane good at what he does. And they raffled off one of the commissioner's tags for an elk. Now understand, this is a big deal. And I mean a really big deal. Commissioner's tags are no joke. They are a big deal. And they are something that, that you get to... You hunt when you want where you want. It's, it's just a golden ticket so to speak. They had people fly people in. Other people, people fly people, not people flying in. People fly staff in from out of town to bid on this tag. That's what a big deal it is. And I'll send you over to social media. You got to see the video. Check this out. The bidding started at a hundred grand. It started at a hundred thousand dollars. That was the starting bid. And no, it wasn't like, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll go to auctions and say, let's start the bidding at, uh, let me give you $500, $500 now, blah, 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 and no one says anything. And then they got to drop down. Can I get a $100 bid? Okay, 100 starts this off, and then it goes back up. It's that first push that needs to happen, right? No. 100K did not drop down. 100 went right to 110, 120, 130, just boom, 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 boom. Going up in $10,000 increments to 200 and forty thousand dollars. If you don't believe me, check out the video. I wanted to, I wanted to record that because I wanted you guys to be able to see. This is no joke. This isn't just us saying, "Oh, this isn't a fishing story." This isn't us saying, "Oh yeah, well, I, I mean, it went for like two hundred something." You know, no, two hundred forty thousand dollars. I have video evidence. 
It was fantastic. And I was talking to a good friend of mine and a, a, a contributor on this show. And he said, I'm not going to throw him under the bus. But he said, man, and a lot of you might be thinking the same thing. $240,000. He could have done for, for a tag to go hunting? I mean, think of all the good he could have done with that. Think of all the 200. He could have fed homeless people. He could have, uh, he could have given to veterans charities, things like that. Let me help you out with this. $240,000 just went to wildlife conservation in the state of Arizona. For a tag that was going to be uh, given out or sold or, or auctioned off or whatever anyway, this was a tag that our biologists at Game and Fish say, yes, we can. Our, our herds, our elk herds can handle this one tag and the tags that they go through in the, in the, in the, uh, the draw as well. Yes, we can do that. With that money, water catchments from Flagstaff down to Tucson for all the critters during the drought. I know we just had a big rain, but still in the drought. Um, repair, fence line repairs, all this stuff, all this conservation stuff for wildlife, not just for mule deer, not just for white-tailed deer, black-tailed deer, not, no, just coos deer, not for, just for elk, all wildlife. $240,000 just went to those on the ground, boots on the ground effort for conservation in this great, this great state. So yeah, the money could have gone elsewhere, but this is the type of person who got the tag that could either just, I, I don't know if the person that won the, uh, the tag was, a, uh, was the actual person or somebody flown in to represent that person. It, it doesn't matter. Because if you have that kind of coin, if you have that kind of jack, guess what? You're contributing. You know, it's been, what about all the good things they could have done? It's like people that look out, uh, out the window of the airplane when they're on the tarmac and they say, wow, look at that guy in his private jet. Look at all the people he could have helped if uh, he didn't buy a private jet. He could have just given to homeless people or something. All the people that are employed just building that jet you see what I mean? The carpet, the windows, the uh, the engines, the, the 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 fuselage. These are people that have benefits, have Christmases, have you know all this stuff because of that plane. Because there's people that can buy that type of plane, and the tax on a plane like that alone goes to programs to do all this. I mean, just the benefits of one big giant purchase or a check, like we saw at the Mule Deer Organization banquet. It's, it, it, it goes to help. It goes to do the right thing. And the person that, uh, that bought the tag, God bless them. They, they got something for it. How cool is that? That you actually get to get a little something for, um, you get something for your effort, right? I think that's kind of cool. I think that's neat. So I, 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 don't, I don't knock anything. But what I do like is this. Now, there are a lot of, societies and organizations and things like that. And before you give or go to these banquets or, or if you've got 250K laying around, you want to go after a commissioner's tag, awesome. Here's what I suggest you do. Go to, with an organization that deals with Arizona. We need to take care of our own. It sounds selfish. I understand that. We need to take care of our own. So we deal with Mule Deer Organization, Arizona Elk Society, Arizona Pronghorn Society, Arizona Predator College. This kind of stuff, these groups that do conservation projects that are just wheels off sold out for conservation of this beautiful outdoor playground of a state that we live in, right here in Arizona, the money stays here. Do your research and make sure that you're, you're dealing with an organization that takes care of Arizona. Just like we talked about last week with the Humane Society. If you're going to give to the Humane Society, give to the Humane Society of name an Arizona town or a county or Arizona in general, right? Help out Arizona. And big checks like this and little checks like this, they had to have, I, man, they had to have raised over 300 grand. And that once again goes to a, th these fence line projects that they have and these water catchment programs that they have from Tucson all the way up to Flagstaff, right here in Arizona. So I just, I think it's important to make sure that we are dealing with Arizona organizations. That's, that's, my, that's my soapbox, okay? We've got the, the 
We're going to talk about kayak angling a little bit today. We've got a big show. I've got to get to this. We've got some fun headlines, um, and we're going to talk about fly fishing as well. Yep, we're going to talk about fly fishing and what to do when you find one of those little cute baby animals in the wild. A little public service announcement on that. We've got a lot going on in this show. Stick with us. Thanks for spending part of your weekend with us. We do appreciate it. It is The Go Show. Coming up next, the six biggest myths about kayak fishing right here on The Go.